Okay, we're here today with Dr. Paul Goda in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Um, so we're going to talk to you today about plastic surgery during a recession and what options people have. Okay. Um, obviously, these are tough times, um, you know, for everybody. People are getting laid off and um, people are holding on to their money, but they still want to look good. Um, so there are different options available. You don't just have to avoid you know, your plastic surgeon completely because you think it's too expensive. Um, for people that are interested in facial rejuvenation, um, who may be looking for a facelift or a facial, uh, a sur facial surgery, um, there are less expensive options like Botox and fillers that um, they can do basically temporarily until um, they're comfortable having their facelift. Um, what about financing? Is financing an option? Financing is an option. There are um, companies that, that we work with, that most plastic surgeons work with, where patients apply for financing. Um, some of them have no interest plans for a certain period of time. Some of them obviously charge interest. Um, but, you know, in this economy, people are holding on to their money, and obviously if you finance it, the payments are smaller. You just pay every month. So I would say more people are coming in asking about financing and applying for financing. And that way they can have their surgery, or you can even finance Botox and laser hair removal and you know smaller, less expensive treatments. Um, but I would say that financing is becoming a little bit more popular than it was a couple of years ago, at least in my practice. Um, and most likely it's because of the economy. Okay, great. What about um, just when people are looking on the internet and they see all these ads and you know if they're going for the the cheapest price what are, what are your feelings on that I think you have to be very careful shopping for price I would just tell you don't shop for price um, here in South Florida there's a lot of radio ads on all the time about uh, plastic surgery procedures that are advertised as fairly inexpensive um, and most of those places are really places you want to avoid um, for many reasons. Uh, the surgeons there typically are doing lots of surgery, lots of volume. They don't take the time to really do a great result, you know, to have a great result on each patient. Um, they've had a lot of problems at these centers, including many patient deaths, some that you don't hear about, but that sort of as an insider, I'll, I'll hear mm -hmm. about it. Um, the other thing is a lot of these ads are very misleading. For example, there's an ad now on the radio for breast augmentation for $3,500. What they don't tell you is that that's done under local anesthesia, which I would never do. Um, you know, it's really barbaric in my opinion. Um, if you go there and you want general anesthesia, it's another $1,500 or so. So, you know, then it becomes $5,000, which is actually more expensive than even I charge for a procedure done under general anesthesia. So you have to be very careful with the advertisements that you hear. And a lot of these places that advertise a lot, um, you really should just avoid completely. Okay, so um, I mean, everyone's a little bit price conscious right now and looking just to make smart decisions on their finances. Um, how do you feel plastic surgery, um, the, the physicians are in general as far as price? I think physicians, um, you know, even the, the top physicians may reduce their prices, you know, to some extent because of the economy. Um, you know, people do want to have the plastic surgeon if they can't afford it. I think plastic surgeons, including myself, will work with the patient and come down on our prices to some extent. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to do bargain basement plastic surgery, um, you know, because it's just not, it's not, just not a good idea for either the patient or, or mm -hmm. the surgeon. But working with the patients is becoming something that physicians yeah, are Yeah, I mean, definitely. I know some surgeons who use, you know, who typically charge very high fees have come down um, on their fees and you know like I said I will come down on my fees um, in certain situations um, because you know people want to have the plastic surgery and um, you know these are tough times so we try to work with them. Okay great well if somebody wanted to come for a consultation where would they find you on the internet? Um, just go to my website drwigoda.com it's dr then my last name w-i-g-o-d-a.com and then um, my telephone number is an address and Okay, great. Is there anything else you want to add? I think that's it. Okay, <laughs> thanks for your time. You're welcome.